booted up. Go calibrating. Looking good so far. Holy shit. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, you weren't kidding. <laughs> okay. Let's see what this baby can do. Whoa. All right, come on over. Now, let's give you something to shoot at. Bang, bang. They're all yours, Sergeant. Great. Targeting and ballistics look normal. Let's get you oriented. Bring up your compass. Next one's just east of you. Okay, let's try bearings. Next one's at, uh, 220. All right, not bad. Moving along. Uh, here we go. Sergeant, if you'd be so kind. So, uh, looks like it wants you to run from marker to marker as fast as you can. Oh, that's what it wants, huh? Great. Yeah. It says here that uh, it'll spawn targets at each marker. You'll need to drop them before you can proceed. Well, whenever you're ready. Say again. Negative. Uh, yes, this is Staff Sergeant Adams. Send it. Christ, these people. Hold on! You know what? Go bother someone else. Ow! Hey, F morons. You having fun up there? You know it! I think it's safe to say it's working as advertised. You got any more tanks lying around? <laughs> Maybe next time. All right, let's shut it down. The greenbacks are gonna get here soon. sit up here. Copy. American, respond. Over. Sorry, I thought I told you to go bother someone else. You know, I don't get annoyed. Yeah, right. But this guy, this guy's a special kind of fuckwit. That should do it. Copy. 
All right, everyone, gather around. These are targets? Really? Sorry, they're all we've got on hand. All right, first things first. I'm Staff Sergeant Adams. This is Sergeant Conway. We'll be your cabin crew for today. Cabin crew? Since I'm fairly confident we all know why we're here, I'll skip the usual brief. So, over to you, Sergeant. When you're ready, put some rounds down range. As you can see, while the Sergeant remains standing upright, he has to work harder to compensate for the recoil. Were he to take a knee, the effort he'd have to put in, compensating for the recoil, would be reduced. So, whenever possible, try to crouch down before firing. Going prone offers the best stationary shooting posture, with the least recoil and smallest profile. However, be careful of grass and other obstacles obstructing your view. Engaging targets at greater distances is a bit more complicated. Collimator sights like the sergeant here is using, are not well suited to the task. Sergeant, go ahead and grab the RCO from the crate. From now on, I'll be giving directions to the sergeant exclusively in compass bearings, so please pay attention. I'll call out specific targets for the sergeant to engage. It's up to him to pick them out and score a hit. Are you ready, sergeant? As I'll ever be. All right, first target. Helicopters. Well, speaking of CSAT. Pay attention, children. 400 meters, bearing 307. <laughs> 300 meters, bearing 330. Remember. Control your breathing. Aim for clean, focused shots. One hundred meters, bearing two nine or zero. Great, let's move on. While we're on the subject, you're going to find it much harder to control your breathing on the battlefield. Sergeant. Don't even say. It. Your adoring public awaits. God damn it. What is the sergeant doing, I hear you ask? Well, in all honesty, I have no idea. Although I think we can all agree it's quite a sight to behold. Fuck you, Staff Sergeant. However, his completely spontaneous and totally unplanned marathon conveniently brings us to our next lesson. Fatigue. It can and it will be your worst nightmare in the field, should you fail to regulate it effectively. Push yourself too hard and you'll find yourself unable to hit shit, even when the situation requires otherwise. And hell, if that's not enough for you, You'll just grow to hate the sound of your own wheezing. The floor is all yours, Sergeant. See? Now the Sergeant has to battle himself as he fires. Again, you need to control your stamina. If you don't, you'll have a hard time hitting anything at all. That'll do, Sergeant. That'll do. American, please, I need to speak with you. There has been an incident. Over. What do you mean, incident? Send us your grid. Over. We cannot do that. Say again. Why not? Over. We do 
do not have a map. GPS? Um, negative. Copy. Wait one. It's always something with these people. All right, change of plans. Everyone, gather around the sergeant. Come on, don't be shy now. We're gonna learn something useful. Bring up your map, Conway. Okay, here's the deal. Since your people are completely incapable of intelligent thought, it has fallen upon us to rescue them from certain doom. Before we begin, Sergeant, if you'd be so kind, stick a marker on our location 066159er. For those just tuning in, six-figure grids are a crucial navigational tool. Coordinates are read from the bottom first, followed by the ones that run up the side. We're going to attempt to triangulate their position. However, before we get on to that... You guys still there? Yes. We need some landmarks to go off here. Do you have anything we could use? Did you spot anything recognizable en route to your location? Over. Well, we know that we are west of Sirta. We drove through it. Okay, that's one. Hold on. All right, Sergeant, stick a marker on Sirta. It should be about three clicks to the northeast. Clicks? Three kilometers, in other words. Sirta, Sergeant, three clicks to the northeast. Conway, Sirta, big letters, mark it. Now, let's draw a line going west from Sirta. Can you guys give us any other landmarks? There is a hill nearby. It has a small chapel on top of it. It is at bearing... 130 from our position. Over. Copy. Wait one. That's probably somewhere southwest of Sirta itself. Think you can locate it, Sergeant? All right. The bearing they gave us was 130. However, that's from them to the chapel. We want to work out the bearing from the chapel to their position. So let's do a 180. That makes it 310 from the chapel itself. You'll notice the lines intersect. That, in a nutshell, is all we're looking for. It tells us that, if the information they provided is accurate, they must be somewhere near there. However, the intersect won't always be exact. Use common sense to enhance your accuracy, or try to obtain further information. Over to you, Sergeant. Stick a marker on their position. Hold on. Are you guys around some buildings, or are you out in the middle of nowhere? We are in a small settlement, just off the main road. So you have another road leading to you? Yes, a dirt track. It took us northeast from the main road itself. Copy. Yep, that looks about right. We've got your grid, 075183. We're on our way. Stay put. Out. Okay, we're going to go find your friends. 
Keep yourselves busy while we're gone. The rest of you, load up. Conway, you're driving. here we were on patrol we were attacked patrol huh yes and these people they attacked you yes was well, unclear you ever heard of excessive force Good, sergeant staff sergeant they're just civilians did you sweep the buildings and what's the deal with that man over there yes we did they are clean you searched all of them including the ones down there no, only these ones. And that man! Do you have medical support inbound? Um, no. Are you kidding me? Sergeant, search those buildings down there. The rest of you, set up a perimeter. And you, call for a goddamn medevac. Now!
The shed's empty. Adams, I've got a weapon stash here. Small arms and explosives. Definitely gorilla. Over. You see? They were a threat. Yeah, and I'm sure they just attacked you for no reason. Copy, Sergeant. Form on me. Status? He didn't make it. Damn it. I let Broadway know what's going on. We've been ordered back to base. I've told these idiots to clean up the mess. They'll handle the weapons. I can't help but think the gorillas won't take too kindly to us. No. All right, everyone, mount up. We're out of here. Thing. Having trouble there, Staff Sergeant? No, sir. Come on. Any word from the MOD sit-down, sir? Negative. Nothing from the AAF or the guerrillas. In fact, the whole thing's gone dark. You're kidding me! Nope. You figure that missing greenback convoy has something to do with it? Why do you think the boys are here? There's your ride. You two get going. Find us that convoy. Copy. Good. I'll try to hunt the fucking things here. Let's see.
Hold. Let's wait for the others. In position, Staff Sergeant. Copy. What do you see? Convoy's been hit hard. No movement as far as I can tell. But, to be honest, there's a lot of trees. Over. Understood. Maintain overwatch. We're moving up. Let's go, Conway! Whoa! Dead ahead, Sergeant. Hold fire! We're friendlies! Man! 75 meters front! Please tell me you two have this. Copy. We're on them. Everyone, on me! Four, three, engage that machine gunner! Front! Engaging target! Get ahead, Sergeant. Hold fire! We're friendlies! Please tell me you two have this. Copy. We're on them. Go! 
100 meters, front! Clear! Clear! All clear! Move up! Broadway, 1-1. One, one. Be advised, we've made contact with FIA forces at the convoy's location. All contacts neutralized. Over! Copy, 1-1. One, one. Lock it down. Broadway out. Clear! We've got wounded over here! at the convoy. One greenback, unresponsive, possibly in shock. It doesn't look good. But one, two actuals taking care of him. Over. Copy. Relaying to Phalanx. Medical is inbound with reinforcements. Try to keep him stable until they arrive. Over. We'll try, Broadway. One, one out. He's holding, but not for long. We need medical here now. All right, hold this perimeter. I'm not in the mood for any more surprises. Phalanx is reporting that the FIA threw themselves at the cordon. 
What the fuck was that? Just the chain of command at its finest. Who was that asshole? Callsign Phalanx, Colonel Akinteros. <laughs> you just bashed horns with the AAF's top brass. That's their top brass? Now I know why they're so fucked up. Can't believe McKinnon shut us down like that. Yeah, well, orders are orders. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs>